Hey you guys, um, thank you so much for stopping by and watching our videos. Yes. Lacey and Steve from Duo Reacts. Steve and Lacey. <laughs> we are watching Game of Thrones, season six, episode four. This episode is called Book of the Stranger. Book of Strangers. <laughs> Book of Strangers. Um, so we just watched episode three last night. So what were you thinking about episode three? John, he booked it. Yep. He's like, bye. And we have Arya. Arya got her sight back. Yes. So that's at Big least things. <laughs> good things are happening. John's back. Arya sights back. Brienne is with Sansa. So All's things good. are things are looking so more positive so far. We do still have Danny, who's being held captive by not for long. For from. The Kalasars, all the, all the Dothrakis. Yep. Um, so yeah, you about ready to get into episode four? Yes. Let's right. go. Oh, also, we had a uh, video today that went up. We live streamed. We had a live stream. We just got done doing that. Um, With that being said, we did have a special announcement. Lacey. Yep. Um. So. We are going to be doing this. This announcement is for season eight. Mm. Um, if you guys didn't see it in the live stream, <laughs> if you guys, <laughs> I'm just trying to talk and I just hear Steve. Mm. Um, if you guys did not watch the live stream or the video um, of the live stream, uh, season eight, what we're going to be doing is we're going to watch, you know, watch the show as it airs. Um, and then right after it gets done, we're going to be doing a live stream. Mm -hmm. So every Sunday night, right after we all get done watching Game of Thrones, the new season. We're going to have a discussion party. We're going to have a d little discussion party. A little after, a little after the Thrones party. And we expect you to be there. <laughs> If you can, if you can, then, you know, come hang out with us. Let's all discuss everything. Yes. We'll, you know, decompress. We'll let out our frustrations or our happiness or whatever. It'll you be know. our segue into a manic Monday. <laughs> it, it, yeah, it'll be, we'll just all discuss everything that we just saw, basically. So, um, so every Sunday night, once season eight comes on, Live stream it up. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Um, and let's get to watching episode four, Book of the Stranger. Book of the Strangers. <laughs> let's do it. Let's roll. <laughs> Both going forward at the same time. <laughs> We're crazy. Where are you gonna go? South. What are you gonna do? Get warm? Get warm. You know, you swore a vow. I, I pledged my life to the Knights Watch. I gave my life. For all nights to come. They killed me, Ed, my own brothers. You want me to stay here after that? Open the gate! What? <laughs> this ice cream's gotta go away. <laughs> oh my god! <coughs> oh my god, I got goosebumps. Oh my 
<laughs> Alright, I can have a bite of ice cream now. <laughs> I spent a lot of time thinking about what an ass I was to you. I wish I could change everything. We were children. I was awful, just admit it. <laughs> you were occasionally awful. I'm sure I can't have been grateful and always sulking in the corner while the rest of you played. Can you forgive me? There's nothing to forgive. Forgive me. All right. All right, I forgive you. <laughs> Where will you go? Where will we go? Where? If I don't watch over your father's ghost, will come back and murder me. <laughs> Where will we go? Can't stay here, not after what happened. There's only one place we can go. Home. Home. What should we tell the Boltons to back up and leave? We'll take it back from them. Winterfell is our home. It's ours. And Arya's and Bran's and Rickon's, wherever they are, it belongs to our family. We have to fight for it. I'm tired of fighting. It's all I've done since I left home. I've killed brothers of the Night's Watch. I've killed wildlings. I've killed men that I admire. I hanged a boy younger than Bran. I'm Shireen. What happened to the princess? I saw what happened. I saw Stannis forces defeated in the field. I was Kingsguard to Renly Baratheon. Before Renly was assassinated with blood magic. Oh, yeah. In the past now. Just before I executed him. She's like, what bitch? You have something to say? Sandra slithered her way out of there pretty quick after that happened. The defender of the veil! Uncle Peter! Dad! <laughs> Dad! My lord. Daddy little Daddy. finger. Tell me, Lord Royce, how many people knew of my travel plans with Sansa Stark? I shared my intentions with you. No one else. Slander a man in his own home, you might find yourself crossing swords with him. Your home is the Vale. The Lord of the Vale stands before us. And only his judgment concerns me. <laughs> Shall we throw up through the moon door? Really? My lord. My lord. I think he deserves one more chance. What do you say? He doesn't have a frickin' clue what's going on in the world. Fine. We should help. That was my instinct as well. Our Lord has spoken. Gather the knights of the Vale. Time has come to join the fray. the enemy into our city. You don't need slaves to make money. There haven't been slaves in Westeros for hundreds of years, and I grew up richer than any of you. But our queen recognizes that she erred by abolishing slavery without providing a new system to replace it. So, here is the queen's proposal. We will give you seven years to end the practice. In exchange, you will cut off your support for the Sons of the Harpy. We do not support the Sons of the Harpy. Fine, fine, but you will cut it off all the same. I do hope you accept, my friends. You will not receive a better offer. You're right. Why don't you sit and catch your breath? I don't think he could ride the dragon. 20 years ago, maybe. What? Our queen. She's wild, you know. Don't let her size fool you. It's hard enough for me and I'm a young man. With you. 
I don't think your heart could take it. <laughs> okay, jerk. <laughs> I must be angry that our queen chose me. Not a stab wound anymore. What's your big plan? <laughs> It's like, yeah, oh, just, just go, like, seriously. <laughs> <laughs> clink, 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 clink. He can sprint out of there. I know. He goes <coughs> as slow as he possibly can. And <laughs> see that little smirk? That was priceless. Since I've missed the past so in a few days, he'll have a trial for me. But before that, Queen Marjorie will make her walk of atonement. Yes. Marjorie will repent her sins before the good people of the city. Oh no. That cannot happen. That will not happen. I agree. You've got the second largest army in Westerns. Look at me. Men died trying to rescue you. You're a spoiled little cunt, but you are my brother and I risked everything for you. And you betrayed me. No, no. Look at me! Tell me what you want. You should rule the Iron Islands. Let me help you. The flayed man. Does that worry you at all? You eat them after. No. And I've seen worse. I can give you what you want. Are you sure you know what that is? Same thing men always want. I mean, they really want to. I give it a bath first. Mm. Oh. You're a good talker. <laughs> you tell me everything. All about the Stark boys who helped them escape. And how she did it. <laughs> I 
didn't see that until... <laughs> you didn't see that? I didn't see where he came up with a knife. Yeah, it was quick. Wow. He digs her. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he digs her. <laughs> it is like, oh, okay. Sorry about the food. To the traitor Ambassador Johnson. You allowed thousands of wildlings past the wall. You have betrayed your own kind. You have betrayed the North. Winterfell is mine, bastard. Come and see. Your brother Rickon is in my dungeon. His direwolf skin is on my floor, come and see. I want my bride back. Send her to me, bastard, and I will not trouble you or your wildling lovers. Keep her from me, and I will ride north and slaughter every wildling man, woman, and babe, living under your protection. You will watch as I skin them living. Go on. She's more the same. You will watch as my soldiers take turns raping your sister. You will watch as my dogs devour your wild little brother. Then I will spoon your eyes from their sockets and let my dogs do the rest. Come and see. Ramsey Bolton, Lord of Winterfell, the Warden of the North. A monster has taken our home and our brother. We have to go back to Winterfell and save them both. Tell John what happened to you. I'm sure she did. He's not a fat boy, so he needs to He's step it up. And quit being me. What's man? I was how. Imagine get your fee. Shit. Oh, shit. Took them all out.
boobs. Boobs. <laughs> yes. So, what'd you think about this episode? <laughs> What you think about it is the better question. It's freaking awesome. I am not your little princess. I am Daenerys Targaryen. I guess the horses won't be having any fun with her. No, none of them are fit to lead the Death Rocky. So Only now she, she just had everyone bend to her a hundred thousand. All of the Dothraki. Yes. Not just like one little, like before it would have been called Drogo. I think it was like 40,000. This is all of them put together. She's building quite the massive following. They all just bent their knee to her. Oh my God. You see her just freaking walking out of That's the just, fire. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What an epic way to end this show. I mean, it Sansa. started. It <clears throat> started. The episode started with Sansa showing up. The greatest reunion yes. ever. Yes. Anyway, he's on board to. He's on board to build get, up an army yeah. and. Let's hope he doesn't rob Stark it. <laughs> right. Right. Rob Stark it up. Don't pull a Rob Stark. Don't. Yeah. Don't rob Stark it up. <laughs> so here's um, some questions for you. Yeah. Uh, first question is from Paula. Paula. Um, after this episode, I started feeling some Daenerys fatigue. Sure, she is the mother of dragons, but those dragons and or her resistance to fire have saved her something like five times now. Meanwhile, the only non-dragon slash fire thing she has attempted is falling apart. Can Daenerys rule without her dragons, or will she always be just a conqueror? No. Okay. No, I don't think she can rule without her dragons or her ability, uh, you know, with the fire. I mean, th th those are the key ingredients of making her... Yeah, that's uh, made her stand out. Is making her godlike. Yeah. It's... In this episode, like that's what they all see her walking out of flames. Yeah, and they, the people that they did bow to just died. She took them all out. Yeah. But. And that's one thing that Dothraki, uh, Dothraki only follow the strong. So she just proved her strength right there. Yeah, and, and of course her re resistance to fire was the key ingredient right and the dragons is another thing that's gave, given her the other army she has right the unsolly right well yep exactly um silver of house storm silver sansa and john finally reunited yes sansa asked for john's forgiveness for being mean to him when they were kids mm-hmm did you realize that that had been their dynamic before she mentioned it? You know, I didn't even think of that until she had brought it up. Oh. Like like she had the cat approach towards him. Yeah. Wouldn't you say? Yeah, they, and they didn't really show a whole lot of no, it. No, but, but you could see you that. Can she, kind of, you could kind she of had see. more cat, cat in her. She's definitely a lot like her mother. Yes. Yeah. 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 Um, Craig Costalecki. Craig. Tormund looks like he's found true love in Brienne. <laughs> but yes. she clearly prefers to be with Jamie, who would rather be with Cersei. If you could have if you could have Brienne end up with anyone, who would you have her with? And who do you think Jamie should be with? Kind of answered it all in one question. I think Jamie. Brienne brings the best out in Jamie. So you think Brienne and Jamie should be together, period. Yeah. yeah. And I think I, I kinda like that too. Yeah. I think he's she's a strong enough woman to She brings out the best in him. Yes. Yeah. I like I I definitely ship those two, so yeah. I'd have to agree with that. Um next question is from Corey Gassaway. And besides Brienne's banging <laughs> Um, we get a beautiful reunion. 
something we don't normally get, with the reunion between John and Sansa. However, that moment of pure happiness in true Game of Thrones fashion is immediately short-lived by the threatening letter from Ramsay. Oh. John agrees to fight with Sansa and attempt to save their brother Rickon and retake Winterfell. They are extremely outnumbered at the moment. Being that you are someone with military experience who loves and is a student of history, if you could offer them suggestions to take on Ramsay, what suggestions would you recommend? Are there any recourses or actions available to them? Yeah. Absolutely. They have the name and, <clears throat> and they have the diplomatic uh, portion of it that they're going to be able to gather other people to fight with them. I totally believe that. Okay. Because Bolton's trying to run this with a strong arm. He is, And yeah. he's a very sick man. And once it gets out... You know, people, people are going to like that. People the, aren't going to want to follow him. The, the people that are scared are going to stick with him because they're going to be afraid because of leaving. Scared. They'll, yeah. They'll reap that. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So once John is able to pull that unity um, from other places, maybe even uh, Littlefinger might even play into okay. this too. Okay. Um, he has wildlings, obviously. Yeah, about 2,000 it looks like. Which is good. Uh, they're going to gather more forces as they move forward. But you have to... Just, yeah, he made a good point. Uh, with military, you try to always gain other like countries. So this would be, in this case, other um, like banners. Maybe going... Yeah, other houses. Other houses yeah. to join with you to fight against his ally yeah, like, yeah 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 so that's exactly what he's gonna do is build his allies to defeat okay. yeah and i think he'll do fine with that it's gonna be hard to do so okay and people right. are gonna request things obviously because that's all about you know all about me what can i get yeah what can i get for helping you or whatever yeah, what, what right. have you done for me lately people right which is bullshit they need to get rid of uh, Lord Bolton because he's a threat to everybody. Yeah. And, I mean, what he did to Sansa and what he what is he's continuing doing, what to he's do. continuing to do. He's a sick man. I mean, someone yeah. to just... He, you know you're sick when you sit there and you're making out and da-da-da-da-da. And obviously she's trying to kill him for yeah. a reason. Right. Take him out. But... He just plunges it right in her and wipes it off and continues to eat an apple. And he's just with the same just, knife that he just stuck in her throat. Yeah, you know, looking yeah. around. Yeah, like like the Joker, like the freaking Joker. <laughs> he's like the Joker. Um, next question is from Ger Head Case uh, Gerard Lelouch. Gerard Lelouch. Uh, hello again from a longtime fan. Yes, Glad, I'm glad you got this far and enjoyed the show with us. Love it. First of all, thank you for your content. Question. A first Stark child reunion since season one. What is another Stark reunion that you that you expect and that you expect that you will enjoy the most? Arya and Sansa. Okay. I think that'll bring a lot of joy to me. Okay. It will. Yeah. I don't know if they're going to meet up, but if they do... I think that'll be one that this one hit me and it gave me goosebumps. It really did. Yeah. I think when the girls get together, that's even that's bringing the band full circle. Yeah. Hopefully, Theon can maybe somehow join all them. of them together. I think would be nice to see. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And I wonder, you know, if you know this thing with Tyrion. Um, I don't know how she's going to react when she gets back to the. Seven year. Well, and that's my last question, oh. actually. Well, yeah, I want to talk about that. Is from Gabriel. Gabriel. Do you think Danny would agree with the compromise on slavery that Tyrion brokered in this episode? No, that's what I'm worried about. Right. I'm a little worried about it, but it makes sense. It you makes know? sense that you have to put a plan like in he place. Even said, like you have to kind of have something to replace it with. Well, it's it's for kind of that economy and stuff, but it's kind of that give and take situation when you know you're trying to um, 
it's not right. It's not right, absolutely. At all. And, and he it knows it. Be he knows completely it. Completely gone. He knows it, but strong arming it isn't going to work either because now people are dying. Now, but they're putting something in place to hopefully work, and I, I, I just don't think Daenerys, she's going to like that. Danny's right. going to like that she, at all. She's, I, I wouldn't think that she would like that. But I'm hoping for the, for the better cause of this because this is what I'm predicting. Okay. So. Now that things are kind of worming itself out right now, or what, however you want to say it, um, I see Danny just gathered a big following. But you know, if somehow, some way, Tyrion finds out that Jon Snow is, you know, they have trying a history. To, trying to they retake Winterfell. Yeah. Okay. They have a history. You know that maybe. You know, somewhere along the line that, you know, he can introduce, you know. Oh, okay. I see what you mean. Like, you, maybe they could ally together somehow. So, no. Um, my prediction is that, that they'll come together. Now, <clears throat> because there's a whole other facet. I mean, they, they, they've they got this, the dead coming. Yeah. Okay, and I truly believe that the only way they're going to be successful is with these dragons. I mean, the dragons they, breathe fire. Yeah, and, and it could wipe out a bunch. That's true. It could. So, we'll have to see. So, your hope is that, or your prediction is that... But then again, we haven't seen the power, all the power of the White Walkers. I'm sorry, White Walkers. No, you're, yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. We haven't seen all the power. No. I know that. Um, so... I will just have to find out, I guess. But that's a good prediction. That wasn't really a prediction, but I'm hoping they gather together uh, to have... It kind of was. I mean, you're saying you think that that will happen that's at some what, point. I, I think it'll happen, you know, either next season or towards the end of this one. Because okay. we're starting to see the chips kind of fall. Yeah. We're moving along now after season five where it was kind of like we were stuck. You know, it felt right. like... I mean, it felt like... Now it's like... Okay, like, whew, like things are starting to kind of. But there's un, move. un you know, you got to remove people like Bolton, um, because he he he's gonna damage everything. You got to remove people like that that are just in it to win it for themselves. And I don't know. I mean, his ultimate goal's got to be to sit on the Iron Throne because he wants to rule everything. All right, as we said at the beginning of the show, we're going to be doing a live stream um, on Season 8 after yep. the show. Yep. And I just want to remind you of that. Leave a comment below if you think that's a good idea and if maybe you'd be interested in that. But uh, for Season 8, that's what we're going to do. So with that, Lacey? Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like this video. Leave your comments below. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. And I hope you guys have an amazing and awesome day. Hope amazing happens to you. Peace out.